In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can turn this still image into a beautiful, colorful motion graphic just like this one. And also, make them vanish. Let's get started. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Open CapCut and create a new project. As you can see, I have already downloaded an image. Click on plus to add it to the timeline. This is just an still image and there's no movement. Expand it to about 10 seconds. Now we need to add some effects to this clip. Go to the filter tab, click on it, and in the search box, type in Meteor. Select the middle one and add it to the timeline. Now, reposition the filter effect to the beginning of the timeline. When you run it, you see this beautiful meteor effect, and that's how we want to start this clip. Now, the next thing we need to do is find a suitable place to cut the clip and apply our second effect, which is the vanish effect. So, go ahead and place your timeline marker to the end of this effect right there and use Control B or slice a clip right there. You may need to close the gap there. So go ahead and preview the clip effect and make sure where the stars end, that's where you want to close the gap. This is pretty much where we want it. Now we need to add another effect to this clip. So go to your filter section, then go to the motion section and scroll down all the way and select particle effect and click plus to add it to the clip now let's run the preview to check the effect that looks good Now we need to select another effect. Let's check for electric burn. We're going to select the first one, click to add it to the timeline. Now position it above the other filter. Run the preview. And as you can see, the electric burn works perfect on his body. I like this effect. It looks like he was teleported to that mountain just like the flash character now we're going to add another effect this one is called vibration flash as you can see it vibrates and flashes for a second now we're going to position it above the other filters for now don't worry about the timing of those filters we're going to adjust them later now run the preview and check the effect if everything looks good let's go and add another effect search for a filter called Horizontal flash. That's the one. Let's add it to the timeline. Now grab the filter and place it above the other filters. Now expand it to match the length of the image clip. And run the preview to make sure the color and the effects are looking okay. To me, there's too much camera movement, so we need to decrease some of the settings here because you don't want too much camera movement and you don't want too much glow. So decrease as needed. Now we need to enhance the image quality. Go to adjustment, click on auto adjust. Now we have this beautiful shiny blue color applied to the first clip. Now we're gonna do the same to the second clip. So make sure you select the clip, not the effect. Click on it, go to adjustment and click on auto adjust and run the preview just to make sure everything looks good. We got a nice color, we got nice effects. Still something is missing here, the fire, the bonfire. We wanna make sure the bonfire still is there, but the person is vanished. For that, we're gonna add an actual bonfire. Go to media, go to library and type bonfire. 
and we're going to add the bonfire to this existing image. Click the plus, add it to the timeline, and it gives you two versions. One is the chroma key green screen, and one is the black screen. We're going to work with the black screen. So go to the timeline where the black screen starts right there and make sure you trim it so we don't have any green screen just the black screen bonfire and place it above the image clip now go to the video tab and we need to blend the bonfire to overlay the image clip select screen now grab the corner pins to adjust the bonfire to overlay the existing bonfire to give it this nice motion cinematic look and try to readjust as needed to get a perfect match run the preview a few times just to make sure you haven't missed anything looking at the bonfire and when the effect starts i've noticed that the corner of the bonfire changes color so the first clip has a darker look right there and when the person vanishes it gets a faded color so that's a glitch we need to fix that in order to fix it we have to copy the second clip and place it in between the bonfire and the second clip the easiest way to duplicate the clip is to hold the alt key and drag it above now we have two clips but we still have some work to do first we need to make sure the copied clip does not have any effect so go to the effects and delete any effects that was copied over now this is great we need to create the mask now the only mask we need to create is not a person but is a bonfire go to mask then click on the mask to enable it then click on add mask and click on the pen mask we need to draw around the bonfire in order to mask it off the screen to select the area you need to click on your mouse click 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 and close the loop and make sure you adjust the feather to blend it in this looks perfect because now we have the original bonfire and not the faded one now double check everything and make sure everything is okay let's run a preview on this thing and see how it looks Everything looks good so far. Let's add more effects to this clip. Go to the effects tab and in the search box, typing develop. There's no E at the end. And click the first one and add it to the timeline. What this effect does, it gives you a nice flash at the beginning of the clip. And since we only need it for a few seconds, just go ahead and decrease the, the length for just about a few seconds. That's perfect. Now we need to add some snow to this clip. Go to the effect search box and typing snow. and select the first one that has a mountain icon now drag it to the timeline and place it above the other effects and adjust the length to cover the entire clip then run a quick preview to check the snow effect looks perfect now it's time to adjust the other effects on the timeline just to make sure we have a perfect timing it's always a good practice to create one adjustment layer to adjust the exposure and uh, shadows or blacks in your video. Go ahead and add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Get the adjustment layer 
set up here, drag it all the way to the timeline and go to the adjustment settings. Feel free to adjust the exposure, shadow, blacks or any other settings. Every project is different and every image you use is different than what we are using right now. I would say this is pretty much it right there. We have a nice exposure, nice shadow right now. And as you can see, I'm docking it a little bit to give it the night look. And when you run it, you can get this beautiful bluish sky reflection on the snow. And all we have to do next is add some sound effect to it. Go to the audio tab and look for anything like lightning, vanish, uh, something like a whoosh effect, because that's what we need to make this clip sound and look more exciting. You may have to adjust the sound effect to match the effect itself. So I'm going to move it a little bit here and try again. I'm just going to speed this up so you don't have to wait too long. Now we have everything in place. Let's run the preview. That sounds excellent. Let's make a movie. Go to the export tab, click on it and rename it to vanish. Now click on export. Now click cancel to close the window and let's watch the clip together. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Please watch other related tutorials offered to you on this screen.